welcoming to game two, as you just said, of the 2024 NIT. The Indiana State Sycamores taking on the Cincinnati Bearcats for the right to move on to the semifinals next week in Indianapolis. Skillings in Cincinnati winning the tip and going right to the hole, and it's going over to the Sycamores. And uh, they use every bit of the half court to move the ball. It's a very unselfish team. They share it very well, and driving to the hole is Julian Larry to get the scoring started. Boy, he's improved as much as any player on this roster over four years. Three with Coach Josh Schurz. Starting five of the Bearcats here. Newman for three. For Starting five for Indiana State, and uh, it's been five, six at the most pretty much all season long for this group. Oh, they have great chemistry. They really know this offense. Radically <laughs> year by year. Young man from Frisco, Texas. Here's James with a pull up on the baseline. If you haven't seen this young man play but two games ago, so the burden of ball handling rests with James. Back to Larry. Another runner and almost, but he'll have two free throws coming up. Toughness is a, is a prerequisite for success. 41 has really come on strong lately. There he is. Bouncing it to the high post, back on top for James. Pulls up, connects again. I'm telling you, I saw this kid go to him. A little bit of Frank Mason, the Kansas superstar. Playing with a lot of confidence. It's a humble confidence. Doesn't talk trash, nice back cut. He's in the Conwell, gets it back out, it's a three, it's good. If you can't shoot, they won't guard you. Three minutes gone by, first half. Tie game at seven. Back to James, facilitating here. Bandego trying to alley you, but he got fouled. Utah Valley transferred from there. Utah Valley beat Coach, and he's done a miraculous job here in Terre Haute. It's a three ball, no good. Good defense by Cincinnati. They're trying to keep the paint dry from penetration. Lukosius, nice. Well, he's been red hot from a thousand in his career as well. Driving in is Julian Larry again. Not there. Lukosius has it. Gets it up quickly to James. Skellings for three. Nails it. They're going to call it a two, and they're going to review it during the next ball game this season for the Bearcats, who now lead it by four. Watch the flare screen here. There it is. Avila. Yep. You're not used to guarding a guy away from the basket. Just calling for it. In the wing, he was open instead. Lukosius puts up the three. Tapped out to Swope. Quick three in transition. He got fouled by Skellings. You can't believe it. Fran has done so well this season as well and gets to the free throw line. Almost 80%. <laughs> trying to be very accurate there. Yep. Here in a win in this building. Great addition. This is our advantage, and then they go at that and attack it. Skillings, who's checked by Ryan Codwell. Feeds it inside, Lukosius. Tough one there, and he's going to be fouled. A lot of activity. In one more from the overtime loss at Stanford with a really young team. If you haven't heard of Indiana State from Lincoln Memorial with Schurz. They've been together for six years. Cincinnati works it into the post. It's Jamil Reynolds in for the first time. A three, though, at the top is Newman, and he trains it, and the Bearcats are back in front. Illustration over the last couple years at Cincinnati, his third year, as you said, with the program. Puts him up to a nice feed again inside, and Jason Kent converts to tie the game. Well, they call Jason the best cutter in the country. That's why the offense is good. Right. That, and they can shoot it. So the spacing's impeccable. Layups, threes, free throws. That's this team. James on the jumper. Oh, I'll tell you, he's, he doesn't have a sub. Many people think saved the NBA. 
Indiana State here is having their best season since Larry Bird back in 1979 That's when they great. went 33 and one. Here's a foul called. This Sycamore team right now with 30 wins on the season. Uh, he may be the smartest player or person in the whole program. I guess eight and one, and then the Big East. Three teams still alive. At 17. Forrest's pass is intercepted by James. There and he's go. fouled, and they're going to count it. Yep. Now keep in mind, Mike, this guy does not. They had the Pacers hat on there. You're right. Oh, training camp. So he's familiar with this town. Conwell's been quiet tonight. So far, here's Forrest for three, and he heads it. Only a freshman getting a little bit of time as they rest the uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar right now. <laughs> That's right. He only played in four minutes in the last game. Number 35 for Indiana State, who just knocked down the three. Lukosius puts up a three and gets it right back for eight from three-point range. And a little bit out of control here now. Skelling's going to be an easy one. Timeout. Indiana State wants to talk it over. As the a little 1-3-1 defense out of the timeout. This is a very good passing team, and look at that. They go back to him. There's a foul called as Bendigo got the block and also called for the body. Honestly, they said, look, we don't think you fit in. Come up. Those two get reunited. And it feels sorry, 12. They were 20 in the net. And then they lost the next two games because Kent had got a concussion. The Illinois State game, and then missed the Southern Illinois game. Tough stretch right there, right after they kind of cracked it to the top 25. Yeah. Great point. And uh, by the way, people to this team, if they had a net back then, we would not have been in the tournament at 25 and 4. And we beat Oklahoma in the NCAA tournament as a 13 seed. I, I felt this team could have definitely won a couple games in the tournament. James to the hole. He scores it. For he's, a, he's a star in the making. It's pretty incredible. His last game of his first career start, as you said. Here's a three for Kent. Well, they've got five starters who make 35 threes or more. And that's how you get great spacing when all five can shoot it. There's no spacing without shooting. James again. They're giving him that mid-range. Well, we want to give up the layup. And you know what? At this point, he is making them pay. He is. 13 points on 6 of 10 from the field for Jizzle James for Cincinnati. Right back the other way. Another three for Indiana State. What? Newcomer of the year in the Missouri Valley Conference with Ryan Conwell for Indiana State. Now it's Slope. And what? Back to her again. And Avila finds Conwell. Reynolds. It's a step back three. Look out. Jameel Reynolds. Hey, he's three of seven on the season. Yeah, I was just going to say, hey, come on. Indiana State that I think Cincinnati played against in the Big 12 this year was BYU with the Egyptian magician, Man. Ali Khalifa. Here's Reynolds, and he gets the bucket. I asked some of the Cincinnati players. Whether Watch these inbounds plays. Very tricky. Cincinnati has led by as many as seven. The largest lead for Indiana State has been two. Really good defense. Look out. Look at that ball pressure. Swope. Tough runner. Wow. Seven seconds to go. Here is Jizzle James. What a first half he's had. He's got 13. Can he add to it? No. Halftime from Terre Haute. Kind of what we thought. High level intensity. A lot of competition out here. Here are some of your numbers from the first half. See Indiana State 4-4 four and, four and trailing at the half this year. How about Cincinnati 16-4 and four when leading at the break? Yeah, but this four-point lead is uh, it can evaporate quick. Yep, we saw it with the three-point shooting the way that the Sycamores put it down. They are shooting just 38% for the game as James picks up right where he left off from the first half. You know, I, I told you why I think the, the, the mid-range shot is a low percentage shot, but not for him. That is his real estate, that high paint pull-up. And inside it goes to Kemp. That's a great set play. What they did was they moved all of the help 
the other three defenders and their and the teammates and they just played two on two basketball really well done Lukosius and nobody picked him up Simas Lukosius here for Cincinnati and right back the other way and you said it Fran Conwell with a three point oh if he gets a scoreboard he's up to eight points for Indiana State who is back within three James tries to float it up to Bandego and he got fouled. So here's Bandego at the free throw line for six. Here in the Big 12 on that end. <laughs> Top score for Indiana State is Kent. He's got nine points. Conwell's got eight, and Avila takes it to the rim and he scores. Same exact play they just scored on, but that time the read was for Avila to drive it. And again, no help because all three defenders were on the move away from the ball. Lukosius, he's fouled. Let's go back. It's the same. And it's back to Conwell again. Avila couldn't finish. No look pass from James inside of Bandego and he got fouled. Hey Morris and Frank Mason. And this year. NC State Stanford, Gonzaga, Texas. Coming away on Friday at that time. They got his hand on it. They got numbers. Swope. Up by James. Boy, how quick are Jason Kent's hands? Nice dish inside. And it's going to be Avila. Avila, excuse me, to the free throw rack. All time. Yeah, Michigan State won 75 to 64. And I'm going to tell you, it was DePaul and Penn. You know, college basketball, the NBA, Magic wins the NBA title the next year, his first year in the league. Larry does it the following year. Now, Indiana State's just gone zone. Skillings. Good job. Went right at the middle of the zone. Points 48 to 40. They're really smothering the passers. Avila. Got it. Wow. Tough, tough shot. Half from the field. Cincinnati's a perfect three for three, and they've also are six for six in the free throw line as well. Skellings. They stay perfect from the field in the second frame. He's up to 10 points here. Coming off that 20 point effort in the last game to win for Cincinnati to get here to the quarterfinals tonight. Oh boy. Three ball. Yep. Swope. Skilling's nose. Avila. Swope got it back to him. Gets by Reynolds and gets the bucket. Larry Nerd. <laughs> Deep three, Lukosius. What a way to quiet the crowd. You can't let him get going because he can really, really heat up. And right back the other way, Conwell responds. And Wes Miller, uh, he leads all scores, by the way, with 15 points tonight. Lukosius for three. Big rebound there that time by Swope to Conwell. And he's fouled hard. Oh, uh, man, I'll tell you, Conway. Right, and you're going to pick up the foul. Yeah, he called it. And he's got NCAA.com. You're home for all 90 NCAA championships. He's not playing with the same burst he had for much of this great year by the Sycamores. Yeah, and he's been the one that's been on Jizzle James a lot here tonight. Here's Lacosius for three. That is a big one for Cincy. I have seen this the last month of the season from that young man. Conwell hands it back off up top here for Swope. Nice. Larry. Conwell, three. 12 because of the experimental rule. First time I can remember James being out tonight. They have no point guard on the floor for Cincinnati right now. You are correct. First time he's hit the bench. And a three-pointer is good by Kent. New 
them in for Cincinnati. For three. Wow. Tough shot. Tough, tough shot. Indiana State. Avila responds for tied again. Number one in the nation, too. Three pointers made this season. Tied at 59. Timeout coming at the next whistle. Alleyoop stealing. Nice. He's fouled. James found him. And he's going to shoot free throws when it's in three point range. And he got Indiana State 10 of 14. Drill shots. Well, Coach Schertz told us before the game tonight, I mean, it's all about offense here. This, But they also play unbelievable defense. They were number one in the Missouri Valley in the 20 league games they played in defensive efficiency. Yep, and the Cincinnati team in the best league in the country was an ex excellent defensive team. Oh, the backdoor play has worked a lot. Yeah, first six minutes in, they led by two. A step back three for Swope, and it's no good. James again, Strong. right to the hole. Yeah, wow. strong. Well, we told you he's built like a running back. And we saw it this year in the Big 12. He was built for that league. 17 for him. Three ball swope. It's good. And the second oars have. Okwama back to James. Puts it up. Unfazed. I thought Jizzle should have shot the last one. Tried to go lob to Bandego. There you go. James again, and it rolls off. And Bledson looks up. Oh, finds a sleeping cat. <laughs> Lukosius' pass is knocked down. Oh, great and a pass. no look for Larry. <laughs> No foul. Here's James. Feeds the cutting Van Dago. Well, has that not a foul? Yeah, he's down. He got pushed from behind. You've got to call that. Blitz it for three. That is a potential six point swing. West caused major consternation and caused West Miller to get a technical. There's the push in the back. Right there. It's a no call. They missed it. And then. West Miller comes out on the floor, gets a technical foul. Box and complained. He might have had an argument. He had to be teed because he. I want to show you, I think, one of the passing. And as much as Robbie Avila gets deserved credit for his passing, I think Bledson is equal to the task, which is why the offense is so good. And now they go alley oop to Bantego. But that was a, a tough one to miss. Just can't do that. Turning point. Cincinnati, Lukosius off the screen. Bang, nails it. That is a huge three. Bearcats, they keep this game under control. This team's great out of timeouts. Let's see what they got right here. Bledson on top. Avila, and he's going to be held by Bandego. And the advantage. That advantage right. that time was Avila on the perimeter. See, if I were James, I'd get to the basket. Trying an alley oop and take it. He does it again, and he got fouled. What a play. An incredible pass that time from James. Yeah, that was a little hide and seek right there because James was trying to get behind Bandego into the lane. And remember now, you cannot let the big fella get behind you. Watch Avila. He's caught watching the paint dry. Next thing you know, it goes up and. Bandego, who can't cap off the three-point play. In this ball game. Well, they weathered a little bit of a storm as Indiana State had gotten the lead up to nine, and now a foul's going to be called on Jameel Reynolds for Cincinnati. A one-and-one one here. This guy's got a chance to... He knows goggles since he was a kid. James, been doing it all night, friend. Yes, he has. 
When you're on the road like this, you cannot waste possessions. Let's see what they got here. Skillings has it. Lukosius off the screen for three. Yes, and we are tied. Handoff. Conwell, three ball, no. Skillings has the rebound for Cincinnati. Each team with two timeouts remaining. Coming up on two minutes remaining in this quarterfinal game of the NIT. This kid loves big moments. James. That was a tough one. Conwell the other way. And holds it up. Avila, three ball. James again. He's got five rebounds tonight with five assists and 21 points. I like Lukosius here, and I like a timeout by Miller. James off the dribble, but you got Lukosius behind the arc. Here's James. Minute 45 to go. And he tried to get it to Newman, and he fell out of bounds with it. It's totally carrying him out. But you're right. 12th turnover of this game for Cincinnati. Can Indiana State capitalize? They're 0 for their last six from the field. Got to go over the top of these screens and can't give Swope room. He takes it in the floating runner doesn't go, but it's tapped back out. Julian Larry, it's a three. No, again back out though, and Conwell's got it. Newman tipped it out, but to nobody in particular. Minute 10 to go. 15 to shoot for the Sycamores. Tied at 77. Conwell trying to back off Skilling. Says Avila for three. Yes! I think they want to review. Unless it's wide open. James gets it back from Bandega. Skilling's off the screen. Spinning to the hole, no. Tip, no. Skilling stays with it. He got it knocked out of his hands. James has it. Tough on the Bandega. He's fouled. Conwell hit him. Good call here. And Bandego is going to shoot free throws. One and one, though. Not necessarily a bad foul, given that Bandego is 55% on the... Best and rebound, Cardwell. Got a foul. No foul yet. Yeah, I think you have to. Now what do we got? Timeout, Indiana State. It's into Julian Larry, fouled by James. 80% foul shooter, but you have no choice. Huge rebound, Newman. And here come the Bearcats with 20 seconds to go. Got to get to the basket. James does. Puts it up, no. Bandego tips it now. The rebound is Kent. And he's fouled and pushed by James. Kent. James to put it in. Skillings into the front court, Lukosius, and they call it a timeout. Point range, Newman is three for three. Keep your eye on Lukosius. He may be the guy shooting it. He puts it in, Skillings. he gets it to Skillings. Skillings back to Lukosius, you're right, there it is, it's up. It's good, off the glass with 6.9 to go. Hang on here as Indiana State gets it into Swope, and he is fouled by Newman. And five point Cincinnati out of timeouts. Here's Swope. Oh. Obviously in for shooting. No good. Rebound Bearcats. They've got a chance. And they do foul. Oh, as Lukosius from three quarter court. Now. Okay, now here's what I think. Simas Lukosius. There's the miss, and it's rebounded by Indiana State. The foul is called as Bledson got it. 1.8 seconds to go. Since 
Blinson does it. Indiana State. Sycamores advancing to the semifinals of the NIT next week with an 85-81 win over Cincinnati.